Hi, welcome to the Bi-Weekly Show. I am Kyle Schickner, and today I want to talk about uh, something that came across my email a few days ago concerning a, a Kickstarter project trying to raise money, um, a movie called The Outsiders, The Outsiders, which is supposedly a documentary about bisexual... Well, I guess it's not supposedly a documentary about bisexuality. From the filmmaker's standpoint, uh, it's a documentary dealing with bisexuality. Uh, how it came to my attention was there was... Uh, a woman by the name of Laura Liddell. I'm hoping saying I'm hoping I'm saying her name correctly. Um, and she had come across it initially and sent the filmmakers a letter because uh, she had some concerns and some questions before sending her their money to them. And it dealt with uh, sort of where they were coming from. Were they coming from it from a, from a white male perspective? Were they coming at it from a, just a binary uh, male female um, dealing with bisexuality, and she just raised a number of concerns, like, look, there's this, you know, there's the trans world, there's, the, uh, you know, a bunch of different things, like, it's not necessarily black and white, um, and it was a very respectful letter, it was very, you know, she had some questions, and it was, it was very valid. What was disturbing to me was the response from, um, I guess the director, maybe the executive producer, it's a little unclear, Greg McGruin, I believe his name was, um, and he kind of, uh, what kind of disturbed me was, you know, he said to, to, to Miss Liddell, um, the quote was, uh, you know, I, 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 with all due respect, your definition of bisexuality is incorrect. That uh, bisexuality is not to be confused with pansexuality. And she was dealing with pansexuality. With bisexuality was just the attraction to, towards men and women and not, you know, everything in between. Um... And that, again, it really kind of, this, this is my point. It really upset me, and here's why. I think that, listen, you know, filmmakers can make whatever film they want to do. We have no, you know, we, we can't say, well, you should have done this. I can't tell you how many times I've done a movie, and people said, oh, I really thought the character should have been this. I really thought the character should have been gay, right? Why don't we make a documentary about, you know, poverty instead of, you know, race? You know, because that's not the movie I was going to make. If this if this person, Mr. McGruin, wants to make this movie, then that's that's his business. The the you know, so my my first feeling is everyone should go and the movie's called again The Outsiders of the Outsiders, um a Kickstarter. And and I encourage everyone to just send him a little email, tell him to go, you know, F himself. Because this is not we're not going to allow um an outsider to um define who we are. Um, one of the other things that concerned me um, in this, in the in the response to Miss Liddell, was that he had said that um, all the people um, interviewed in this this thirty two three minute uh, trailer that he put together, which you know just from the trailer itself doesn't strike me as something very creative. But he said all of these people are, uh, you know, they're they're experts in bisexuality, they're experts in bisexuality, male bisexuality. And what's interesting, they're all from the University of Indiana. I didn't realize. The University of Indiana was a hotbed of bisexual research. Um, so, you know, are they experts? I don't know. Are they not experts? But, you know, there are so many people to interview. And it just seemed like he's at college. He decided these are the people I know. I'm going to interview these people and then label them as experts. Um, but here's, here's, the, here's the main concern. Here's the main issue is that this is the movie he's going to make. The problem is that we aren't making our own movies. We're not taking control of our own of our own destiny. We should be if we if if, if we want to make these movies, if we want to hear our voices, sir, we need to make these documentaries or these books and these, um, you know, whatever it would be. And again, I, I you know, if you hear, if you could quietly listen, if you can hear that, that's me beating a dead horse because I know this seems to be my. My mantra lately is that, you know, we have to we have to make our own culture. We have to do our own thing, um, and we also have to support it. Uh, and that becomes the second issue: is that once we do make the art, once we do make the the the, the books and the music, we then have to support it. Um, there's a little, you know, an anecdotal incident that happened last year at at, at New at, at Outfest, the lesbian gay uh, film festival out in Los Angeles. There was a short film by um, a filmmaker, bisexual filmmaker, named Nicole Crystal. Now, some of you may, Nicole, may know Nicole. She co-wrote the book, um, the humorous book, uh, The Bisexual's Guide to the Universe, with um, by activist legend Michael Szymanski. The two of them wrote this book. So, you know, she's not coming 
to the table with without any credentials. I mean, she's been in the in the in the by fight for a while. Um, she had a movie, a short film that dealt with you know non you know mainstream issues. Uh, would it say it was a bisexual film? I don't know, but she's a bisexual filmmaker. The 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 character certainly wasn't um, straight or gay. What you know, but anyway, I digress. And the movie was called "Do You Have a Cat?" It was a very cute, fun film, and it was playing at Outfest at a, at a shorts um, program. And there's a local group in in um, in LA called Ambi, and they do things. They do social events, and they do you know bowling and dancing and all that kind of stuff. And they were all they were as a group going to see a film. Now my frustration was they chose not to go support Nicole's film. Um, instead, go to a movie at the same time about James Dean. As far as I know, it wasn't directed by anyone. It's not a bisexual filmmaker. You know, was James Dean by? Who knows? He certainly wasn't um, out and active and, and moved moved our our uh, plight forward. So so again, it's like, well, why did they decide to not support the bi filmmaker and go? to support um, something else. Were they more interested in that film? Maybe, I don't know. But the problem is that, tough shit, we've got to go to these things. We've got to buy the books. We've got to buy the music. We've got to go see these films. Or else these guys like, you know, Greg Magnuson or Mergnuson or whatever his name is, are going to make movies and get money that have nothing to do with us and we're not going to control our own destiny. Um, and, and, that, and that's a problem. I mean, there's a, you know, you know I, I, there's a book coming out um, by uh, a bi activist um, who's I'm very excited about Shiri Eisner is her name I hope I'm saying her first name or last name right um, the book's called Bi Notes for a Bisexual Revolution I've read it I got an advanced copy it's it's amazing it's great I wish the book came out 20 years ago but the problem is if that book comes out and nobody buys it or five of us buy it then the publishers aren't going to want to have any interest in your book or publish another book about bisexuality and, and filmmakers aren't going to be able to make other films if we don't support and show that there's money in making movies and books and culture and and, and music that deals with bisexuality and not from an exploitive standpoint um that's it my other last thing is my weekly plea to be on survivor i know it's a weird segue but i'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep these short um so, yeah, so I need to be on Survivor. I'm wanting to be the first bisexual out male on Survivor. And this is my plea to Mark Burnett. Get me on that show I just watched last night. I could have totally beaten Cochran. And uh, we will see you next week. Thanks.